Welcome, everybody! Ugh, I should clear my throat before beginning to speak. If I were any sort of, you know, ideal commentator, I would have done that before. But welcome to the Bear Taffy Live Show for Tuesday, 9-3-2013. That's September. Dear God, it's September. That is insane. That's completely ridiculous. How are all of you? Thank you so much for coming out here today to the Bear Taffy Live Show. It happens every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Followed by a Saturday show at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which I try to do to accommodate for those of you who are likely still tuning in, despite the fact that it's either 3 or 4 in the morning for you already. And I do apologize, and also I'm so very grateful for the fact that you choose to be here with me during that time. Kyle Fulcro Gaming should be joining me momentarily. He's still getting prepped up and ready to go. This won't have, um, unfortunately, maybe to some of you, be my first blind solo expedition into Dark Souls. Which I'm sure that will happen at some point, but... Still, I require the the guidance of my peers, and I'm very happy to have that. I'm very happy that all of you are here. We got a freaking full house tonight, and I'm happy about that. Love all y'all. It's a good night to be streaming. Steam is w wigging out on me, and I'm not really sure what's going on with that, and I'm hoping that it stays alive long enough at least to uh, to accommodate for the stream tonight. We got ourselves into this room last time with the nice chest lady. That's just the name she's been given. I, I don't I don't say that to be ob observant by any means for myself, but really, really, that's just what, what her name is, so nothing I can do about it. Oh, man. So Kyle will be here, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and make my merry way over to this direction and see what goes down. And Doxy can't watch because she's streaming this tonight. Oh, my goodness. I am sorry. Sorry, I'm ruining your day in that manner. Alright, so I'm guessing that Area of Fortitude would be downstairs. Perhaps. Where did she point at me to go? She told me I can now warp through bonfires. I'm not sure if I can actually do that yet, or if she was just notifying me of the possibility of that in the future. Let's see. Warp! There is indeed that option. Ooh, look at all these cool places. Hmm. Firelink Shrine seems like a good idea. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Firelink Shrine. I like this place. It's much more comfortable than normal. Hmm. Alright. So now. It's all about what to do from here, and if I'm going to be solo, I need to pay attention to the chat. It's a very good point, because I am I'm quite lost. Uh, Biznaps, Dark Souls is probably going to be about an hour, so we'll probably start up Spelunky about 8 o'clock my time, 9 o'clock Central, 10 o'clock Eastern, der -der 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 time zones and all that whatnot. So yes, okay. Chat, I would love it. If you told me where to go, but for now I'm just gonna kind of oh, meander around. Out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. Good, buddy. I my pyromancy the great swarm, so I can use my magic with a bit of care. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, uh, unless you find the magic unsavory. He has magic. Uh, how do I answer? That's an oddly formed question. Unless you find the magic's unsavory, question mark, yes or no, are <laughs> my options. I guess I don't find them unsavory? Yeah, wonderful. Good. I'm sure that, you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. Pyromancy flame. A flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Well, let's get started right now. Cool. All right. Purchase item, ooh, fire orb. With the pyromancy magic type, so I'm guessing what he gave me is kind of the starter kit of magic. Which actually sounds like I'm referring to the card game. I'm a big silly. Okay, we can modify the pyromancy flame a lot, actually. That doesn't appear to do anything? I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Ooh. Goodbye. Be right. safe, friend. Let Don't me you have... dare go, all right. Don't you dare go. <laughs> I might. Just despite you, really. I'm gonna browse the items real quick and have a look at the... What do we got here? We got ourselves... We got a lot of humanity, I remember that. Magresta came in and gave us a bunch of stuff last time. 
Let's see. We got rubbish with no value. Lose humanity and souls return to bonfire. Why in the world would you ever do that? That seems silly. Uh, yeah, I guess I should recap what happened last time. Chad, I am trying to read over to you and don't think I'm not. Uh, I, I've killed Smog and Ornstein. That was the most recent boss fight that we uh, went through. And now I'm kind of... I'm kind of misguided because... Well, actually, I know where I could go. There is an entire... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Has this opened up? Oh, it has! Oh, goodness, hello. They told me I'd be meeting you at some point. Hi, friend. Are you evil? Oh, you're not. Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I am the primordial serpent, King Seeker Frank, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn. Chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate, and the very reason your kind have appeared. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. Sounds important. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. You got a long ass neck, brother. Okay. <laughs> that seems like an effective method of travel. Dear God. Oh, Kyle's here. He's in the chat. Okay, hang on. I'll get him added to the call. Let's watch this cutscene real quick. This is the Firelink Chamber for the successor of Lord Gwyn. Now, place the Lord Vessel on the altar. I don't think I have the Lord Vessel, but I, let's see if Kyle knows any better about that. I think I may have jumped the gun into getting this far into it, so perhaps I'll have some advice to be given to me. Is that you, hey, Kyle? Hey, what's up? Hey, you made it. I was a little late, I'm sorry about that. That's alright, you know exactly what I'm doing here now, and I'm guessing I'm doing something wrong. Uh, well, I mean, it, you can go this way. Um, I think I heard you saying something about the Lord Vessel. Uh, you uh, got that yeah. in the last episode. Oh, did I? Oh, okay, good. Yeah, that's the thing that lets you teleport between bonfires. Oh, I see, so I use that to get here. Right. So I can do this, but I'll be missing out on something. Now, the thing is, if you talk to that guy, Fran, that you just talked to, you already kind of lock yourself out of the other thing. Oh, uh, okay. The other thing is what gets you the red eye orb, which uh, allows you to invade people. Ooh, that seems important. Yeah, you can still invade people through other covenants, but, you know, like other people, uh, a lot of people use, I would say, the red eye, coven or red eye orb and the Dark Wraith Covenant, uh, which you can't do anymore, as far as I know. Hmm. Uh, as long as he doesn't place the vessel, he is fine, says TYMC88. Oh, did you not do that yet? No, I, I thought is I thought if you talk to Frant, then you are, like, it's over. I could be wrong on that. Kind of seems I, like I don't really have an exit from this place, so... Can you use a Homeward Bone to get out of here? Maybe. I can't remember. Let's have a look. If it's true, you could probably, I'm sure Mike would know for sure, but if you can get out of here, you can go do the other thing real quick. Okay, I'm pretty sure I didn't actually rest at the Firelink Shrine either, so... Let's see. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, we're back to Anne Orlando. Alright, so assuming talking to Fram didn't mess anything up, you can go talk to another guy uh, that is not Fram. And he will set you on the right path to becoming a Dark Wraith. Sweet. Becoming a Dark Wraith sounds badass. If you talk to Fram, the other guy does not appear. That's Good what I God. thought, yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, once you talk to him at all, you've kind of locked yourself out of that part. Look at me That's go, I, man. I'm like ten minutes into this by myself, and I've already royally <laughs> screwed myself for a massive portion of I, the game. I can't really blame you, because as soon as you get back to Firelink Shrine, there's that huge guy you probably want to go talk to. Right. Uh, and he can progress you in the game, but there is another guy kind of like him that will also progress you through the game. But if you talk to that guy first, you can't become a Dark Wraith. Okay, well, let's go see if he's there. Just for shits and giggles, really. So where yeah, am I Yeah, go ahead, now? uh, 
Now, to get to the place that you're going to want to go, uh, you might want to warp there, by the way. Oh, okay. Because uh, you're going to have to go back to Firelink Shrine. Alrighty. And you might remember you... Actually, I'm not sure how far... Oh, yeah, back when we tried to get you that Firekeeper Soul out on that bridge where the oh, ghosts were. Oh, yeah, that was a living hell. Yeah, you're going to be going down there. Good. <laughs> That's now, exciting. At some point, oh wait, never mind. Actually, I can't remember. I, I don't know. This is a very basic concept I'm forgetting. I can't remember if divine weapons. I'm pretty sure those don't affect ghosts. I think they only uh, affect skeletons. I was going to say you can use your divine club against those guys, but I don't think you can. Nah. Um, nah. But if you remember how to get there, you just go down the stairs right there or whatever, down the elevator. and. Oh, yeah. I think I do remember how to get there, actually. So I just need to go back up this way. I'm going to be so proud of myself if I'm able to get there without any guidance. Be like escalating to at least a m moderate familiarity with Dark Souls. Uh, well, I would say you're going the wrong way already. Unless oh. I'm just really far behind. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, cursed weapons are the uh, the only ones. You, there are. I think we might have talked about this. There are what uh, items called transient curses that you can get uh, that'll allow you to attack them with anything. Which I you might have some right now. I can't remember, but. Hmm. Actually, Chad, do you think it would be worth it to make sure he has some before he goes down there? Because actually, I think there is a like a spawn down there somewhere, and mm. like a, a barrel or a uh, a pot. I'm but going down. Is that attack. correct? Right. Yeah. Okay. Good. Go. Good. 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 He will be fine, says Calamity. There are, I think there are two before you go across the bridge, and then there are two in another little pot on the other side. So I think there might be even four there. Okay. And uh, when you kill the ghosts, they have a chance to drop the, uh, the item. Oh, nice. Okay, uh... Lever. Yes, there we go. So oh, yeah. I forgot. Uh, actually, I can't remember if you did this or not. Did you happen by chance to kill a giant uh, wolf in the forest? Um... Ooh. Does that sound familiar? No. No, it doesn't. Now that would have been very... that would have been bad. Okay, we're gonna need to do that first, because he gives you an item. You can't even fight the next boss until you beat him. Oh, okay. Actually, well, technically... no, you can't. I was gonna say, you can kind of get to where he is, but you'll die immediately. Yeah, I'm um, really glad I wasn't going about my business before you got in here, man. That's, this would have been ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. That would have been funny if we forgot and we went all the way down there <laughs> and died. Because you, you can't even get to fight the boss unless you beat the, uh... The other boss first, but if you warp, you're gonna want to warp to the forest. Uh, okay. You can't warp to the forest, but you can warp to somewhere to very that close. Bonfire nearby, it right? Yeah, near that blacksmith. So we're going to the Dark Moon Tomb. Uh, that would be the the Undead Parish. Ah, okay. Let's do it. I'm guessing he hasn't fought the Hydra either. Then that also no. does not sound familiar. I think. I, when RPG was in the stream, we tried to get you to go out there or something like that. It's like right after you kill Havel, he's right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember I remember killing Havel, and then it just kind of ended abruptly. Not like the yeah, stream, but the fight with Havel was just over, and I was like, oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, there's a door you can go out right there that leads out to a Hydra. Okay. But, and you're going to want to go down. Yeah, I'm totally regathering my sense of direction as we go up here. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been here. I don't blame you. Bear Souls Prepare to Casually Fail Edition. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pretty smooth ride, relatively, I would say, so far. Yeah, I haven't had too many massive failure runs so far. I'm sure that's bound to change. How far are we, would you say, percentage-wise? Um, let's see. There are... I'm not sure if you were, like, listening to the... Actually, I'm not sure if they've even told you that. You have to go get... Uh, I think it's called the Lord Souls, and there are four of those. Okay, so we uh, still got a that, ways to go. Yeah, there are four huge bosses left, I would say. There's a lot of other stuff you gotta do on the way to those, though. Mm hmm. Oh, man. But after you do that, you can, uh. These go tree to the dudes are nothing now. Yeah, I remember when it was like, uh, we had to plan out for killing <laughs> we these guys. Had to have an entire strategy for these guys. Yeah, Boom! There's actually a, uh, a glitch called the. I might have mentioned this before, called the Kiln Glitch, which was only on the uh, Xbox version, as far as I know. Where after you get the Lord Soul, you can do like a weird thing where you jump off your Firelink Shrine and go straight to the final like area or whatever. Oh wow! So you get to skip like half the game. That's crazy. Oh good god. They don't even do that much damage anymore. Like I just got 
straight up whacked by one of them, and he barely dented me. Yeah, it was a little, little chippier HP there. <laughs> it's just a way to tickle. <laughs> yeah. He's so cute. Oh. Hey, Vapid, how's it going? Hey, what's up? Okay. So this door. Oh now man, it's shining at me. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to tell you that you have to buy the covenant. Uh, the guy, the blacksmith, has an item you're gonna need to get through there. Oh, okay. What you might want to do just to make it fast, it's not going to save much time, I guess. You would rest at that bonfire, go buy it, and then homeward bone back, I guess. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, so, warp back to Undead Parish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if you... I think... It's been a while. If you warp somewhere, I'm pretty sure if you use a homeward bone, it'll take you back to where you warped from. So I was, like, thinking in my head, you know, is it going to warp you back here if you use a homeward bone? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it only takes you to the one that you rested at. Yeah, because I guess it's not technically resting at it if you just kind of get up from it, but... Right. But yeah. Right. So we're talking to the blacksmith and, uh, oh, he wants me to give him the large ember. Right, yeah, you might as well go ahead and do that. Okay. Magnificent. We're gonna buy an item and we're looking for the... You're gonna need 20,000 souls, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Oh. For the uh, Crest of Artorias. Balls. Alright, time to use some souls, I guess. Yeah, you probably got a lot in your, your inventory or whatever. Oh, yeah. I'm just freaking loaded with souls. Okay, let's use... Let's use the large soul of a brave warrior. Sounds that good. good. 8,000! Sure perfect! Enough. Oh, nice! Yeah. That works nice. out. I thought that might be 4,000, but... All okay, right. purchase item. We're looking for the crest of Artorius. Yay, we did it. All right, now you can uh, go open the door. All right, with so that homeward bone, which I thankfully still have a few of. I can't remember the last time I actually picked one up, but here we go. Yeah, usually once you beat bosses, you get them, and I think we might have had you buy some at one point. So you're kind of hovering around a kind of an equilibrium point with homeward bones, I think. Right. Alright, opening the door away. Who's crest of Artorius? Yeah, if you accidentally kill that guy, by the way, the blacksmith, you'll still get it. Oh. So. Does it, like, drop when you kill him? I think actually just gives it to you, puts it in your inventory. Well, that's convenient. Yeah, you don't even have to go pick it up, but I would be careful around here. Oh, ghost guys. Can I even hurt these fellas? Yeah, you can. Okay, good. Yeah, no blocking for you, bub. Uh uh. Oh wow, they got some strength on them though. Holy cow. Ooh, there's two now. Good. Good. I think there were like three or four or five out here actually. Wow. Alright, let's just go ahead and hackity whackity whackity smack. There we go. One down. Yeah, a lot of people will run from that door. The rest of the bonfire, of course. Uh, run through the door, kind of round all these guys up. And there's somewhere you can stand, like by the stairs over there. Where they'll just run off the cliff, and you oh. can grind souls that way. <laughs> That's cheap. Wow, yeah. 3,000 souls for that guy, though. I can see why they do it. Yeah, because if you get everybody around here, it's probably, I'd say, fifteen to 20,000. Might not be that much, but uh, God. not bad. Uh, does Bear have any spell for the Pyromancy? I actually just spoke to the guy. That was before you got in here, Kyle. I spoke to the dude that gives you the Pyromancy thing. Oh, he gave you the glove? Yeah. Nice. So... Whatever we do with that, I'm ready for. Yeah, I don't know if you point. have any pyromancy spells. Do you remember the the bug thing on the wall that you tried to kill back in the uh, yeah yeah that upper thing. Blight Town? The item that was under there is actually a pyromancy spell. It is actually pretty good. Oh okay. So if you ever feel like trekking back down there to get that, nice. I uh, probably a good idea. Mm-hmm. Nope, oh, one fell off the cliff. That works. Five thousand. Good God. They are pricey buggers. Yeah, and they're really not too bad. I guess you would might come through here a little bit earlier than you did, mm -hmm. but I guess this is probably about the latest. Now, actually, nah, you could go here in a lot later than this. Oh, I don't God, know. I guess you just straight up blocked me. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, I should probably. Oh ask no. This. <laughs> okay, they're definitely not pushovers. That's for damn sure. Yeah, these guys are uh, definitely pretty strong. Got a He's fat rolling. Too. That helps me. Sweet. 
Oh yeah, I keep forgetting you have that Black Knight sword just completely... Yeah, it's obliterating them. these guys. Uh, Barry, are you gonna be streaming Spelunky today? Yes, I will be streaming Spelunky in about 30 minutes. Thank you, chat, for clarifying that. Okay, I'm going this way? Is this yeah, where we're heading to fight the wolf boss? Uh, not, no. Oh. It's not. Okay. There's a kind of a little archway you'll have to walk through. I see. It's kind of like on the opposite side of that little area you were at. Yeah, I think I might be going there. Oh, wow, good. I'm getting surrounded by tree dudes. I'm coming out of nowhere right now. Well, I guess we are in a forest. <laughs> okay. Don't be <laughs> logical about it. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is bad. Logical song. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, God! Oh, Estus, Estus, Estus. Oh, okay, there are like 4,000 oh, of these God. dudes. Got snuck up on you. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's those, these guys. Double slash. There we are. They are taking more than one hit. That's a shock. Oh, God, I'm getting eaten. No, no, oh, no! Man. Don't kill me! Oh, God. Oh, good Lord. Okay, run away, run away, run away, run away! Ah! Wow, oh, I can't I was believe lucky. I'm alive. Holy crap, okay. I have to put myself in a bad situation. Yeah, this isn't good. Well, I guess it is only a couple of tree guys, but... Yeah, I think I'll be okay, but that was just kind of dumb. Kind of stupid. Still got hit by that somehow, that's, that's shocking. Wow! Die, please. Holy crap. Okay, I think I'm nearly finally done with this nonsense. You know, I see your, uh, that, like, flame up in the top right. This is a really big PvP area, and I noticed you're human right now, so I wouldn't be surprised if you get invaded. Oh, crap. I didn't know I was still human. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is fun. Alright, so I'm going the wrong way again, I believe. So let's go up here. There's an item up there. Ooh, and more tree dudes. Yay! Oh, man. At least these are kind of grouped together. Oh, God. Oh, never mind. They're swarming again. Holy crap! Ooh. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Stop. Stop it. You can't jump out of the way. That is not fair. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. Jeez. This is At least I don't have that uh, judo it. kick that the, uh, the mimics have. Oh, yeah, no kidding. That thing. Mimics are ridiculous, man. Yeah, they're really strong. It was scary as hell the first time that thing got up out of this <laughs> little, you know, mimic pose. Uh, yeah, yeah, the one in uh, Sense Fortress. Um, Eastern Armor. Just picked up that full set. Nice, I don't know nice. If that's worthwhile I never really in any way. I'm not sure if it has any, like, benefits that I'm not really aware of, but I never, like, really use it too much. Alright. I'm sure I'm probably wearing some decent stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think you're wearing, like, Havel's leggings and maybe the crest shield or something like that, and... Yeah, something like that. I know I'm wearing Havel's... I might be wearing Havel's full armor, actually. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you ever get to the point where you can use a shield, it's, uh, definitely pretty good. Really good, oh, even. Oh, okay, here we go. I think I might be getting invaded, but I found the archway. <laughs> That's a, the, the place you came in. Oh, god damn. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was... Finally, leading myself out of the woods. Literally. Oh, God. What have I done? Oh, hey, look, it's another ghost guy. But yeah, you're definitely, uh... They're trying to let you be invaded, I guess. Oh. It's just Dark Souls netcode, I guess. It's not very reliable at all. That's uh -huh. one thing I hope they change in Dark Souls 2. Okay. This dude's got poison. And he's like... What the hell did he just do? I think he healed, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he healed. Actually, I'm not sure if that was a heal spell or some other kind of thing. Usually, I'm pretty sure that might have been heal, actually. This dude is, like, taunting me, trying to get me to try to take a whack at him. Yeah, there I'd be careful. Go. I'm pretty... I'm not sure if he can, uh... Oh, God. ...parry you or not. I think he can. Hmm. I think most of these guys might be able to parry you. They're freaking tough. Okay, come on, buddy. No more from you. Good. One down. That dude parried me, I believe. Oh, jeez. Okay, one more guy. Let's play a merry-go-round around the tree! Yeah! 
Nice. Okay. All taken care of. Good God. I'm gonna use my last Estes. Yeah, so run aimlessly right. around. You're not gonna have any Estes left for the uh, the boss. Good. <laughs> oh God. I found a little circular ring, which I feel as though should be pointing me in the correct direction. Yeah, what that is, I'm pretty sure that is a like a where somebody used a miracle mm -hmm. in their world or whatever. So if you use a miracle there. Uh, I'm not sure if it applies to all miracles or not, but you get like a buff as far as oh, I know. Oh, neat. Yeah, I thought it was a glitch the first time I saw it. But, because that's the same icon, the pretty much, that the lock-on icon is. Uh-huh. So I thought it was like a leftover lock-on icon from before when I was locking on to something or something. I don't know. Alright, well I made my way over to the cliff. Oh, there it is! Oh, goodness, finally. Yeah, it's pretty much a straight shot, like, from the stairs. Yeah. Across the forest. Strange creature. Yeah, I'm definitely out of Estes. I've got a lot of humanity if it comes to that. Oh god. Ooh. Uh. Nope. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say, there is a, a pretty good set of armor, like right, probably like five feet away from you, that you might want to get. Ooh. I'm guessing I missed it. Up the stairs. I haven't gone far enough to get it yet. Oh, okay. But it's like right under you, pretty much. And behind a wall. Mm-hmm. This wall? Illusory wall? This looks like it's fake. Nah, it's it's totally real. Ah. But it is on the other side of the wall. Okay, so I need to go around this way. They have some well hidden items in this game. That is definitely true. And it doesn't even have to be like in an illusory wall. It's just like the regular items they hide. Yeah. Kind of hard to find. Yeah, it's like a medieval Easter egg hunt. Hey, a chest. Let's attack it first. Always got to be a, sure. Always uh, a good precaution to take. Mm-hmm. Now that I know, I remember you stone stuff. Nice. I remember you guys telling me about that. It was like the first episode when I found a chest and I was all excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's... yeah, it is a uh, pretty good. Nice. A so, lot of people uh, will uh, use that on the. The boss that I was having you go to in uh, New Londo. Sweet. It looks like it's a little lighter than the Havel stuff. Yeah, either way, I'm pretty sure you're going to be fat rolling in it, but I'm actually I'm not sure. But. So let's you go can ahead try and it. put it on. Yeah, let's give it a whirl. Stone everything, and let's see what happens. Da -da -da -da. Mm hmm. Okay. Looking nice. sharp. And. Ooh, medium roll. Ah, not bad. Mm-hmm. Now, it might be worth it to keep that if you want. I mean, it's uh, definitely a good set of armor. Yeah, let's rock it. I'm feeling good. Yeah, and like speed runs and stuff, that's like the best armor you'll get. Nice. Oh, there's like mushroom people around. They look I would uh, be very careful around them. I'm guessing they toxify me or something. I'm not, I don't remember if they have a toxic attack, but the regular physical attack you might want to watch out for. Okay. I thought they were going to be my friends. Yeah, I thought that too the first time. I like, you know, walk right up to them and uh, they're yeah. not happy. Oh man. That's a bummer. Totally almost just jumped down there on a whim. Okay, oh, down here, good. Don't have to deal with the mushroom people. Message reads: Need humanity yet oh, again. Man. That guy, he doesn't know. <laughs> it's just the one dude going around. Everywhere. Yeah, it's one guy. <laughs> That's great. Need ring. Need a ring. Hiding place. Let's find out. Yeah, that message says need ring. I think it. Well. There is a ring you can get here before you fight the boss. It probably won't help you fight the boss, but I guess if you want to get it before you fight the boss, it's behind the the grave in the middle there, the big one. But you can't run directly in front of you. You have to run, like, around it to the eh. back. Ah, let's find out what happens. I did it! I didn't do it. What am I doing? It's a big-ass sword. Holy crap. Imminent tears. And sorrow. Oh no. Here we go. Ooh. He's pretty. 
Dude, the wolf wields a sword? That's badass. Probably one of my favorite bosses in the game, yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my god, that's terrifying at the same time. Whoa, god! Okay, good start. Wow. Oh, man. Now, there's oh, one thing you can time. do. I guess I won't tell you what it is, but it makes it... If you can do it, it makes the fight a lot easier. Uh-huh. I'm uh, still dealing with a silly controller. Yeah, you uh, can't, like, run or whatever. Yeah, backwards. just the one direction. Ah, one that's direction. Bad. No kidding. Not, I don't know if it is or not, but... It's a band. Mm-hmm. It is indeed a band that exists. Absolutely true. Oh, look at those vulnerability frames like a professional! Nice. Wow, that was pretty cool. Oh, got myself hit right there, though. Oh, whale on him! Whale on him! Yeah! Okay, that did some damage. I need to run away now, though. Right, yeah, for the most part, it looks like you figured out the, uh, the trick, oh. I guess. Yeah, it's kind of like stay directly underneath him, right? Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. oh, the problem cool. is he jumps all around like that. I think yeah. there's probably something in his, like, AI. If you get underneath him, he jumps away. Yeah, it kind of seems um, like that. But yeah, it's definitely the uh, safest place, relatively. So halfway down. I need to use another humanity, though. Probably not the best strategy for healing yourself up, but... Damn it, if I'm not going to try it! Wow. I kind of surprised that none of that hit you. Yeah, that was really surprising, too. <laughs> Okay. Ah, uh, oh, damn. Oh, wow. He hit me with a freaking backswing on his circle oh, attack. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that double spin attack. Oh, I'm dead. probably the hardest one. Oh, no. Oh, oh, man. Okay. I was like a split second away from great, healing you, too. Great wolf sif. Yeah, I know. That was pretty damn close. The lore around this guy is really cool, too. I think you'll come to appreciate it after you play the game a little bit more. I bet. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and run the hell away from all this nonsense. Yeah, you can definitely just run through all that. And now you don't have to worry about being invaded. Correct. Whoa! Dude shooting magic. Okay. I was gonna go back and... I was considering going back and kindling the bonfire, considering my Estus flasks are in shorter supply than I would prefer. Right. Yeah, you can totally do that if you want. But... But we're already halfway there. Living on a prayer. Mm-hmm. I don't remember the rest of the song, but Jenny used to work at the docks. I'll that take it. I remember. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, in this little room right here, I'm not sure if you encountered the the NPC in there. I don't think I did. Yeah, you might want to talk to her or him. I think it's a her though. Let's just go kill Sif real quick. Yeah, right. You'll come back through there. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill Sip, you know, no big deal. And it's not hard. No no problem. Just don't get hit. Right. You'll be fine. Just don't get hit, hit him a bunch, and you'll you'll be right. No problem. I'm gonna jump down right there. Yeah, there we go. So is killing Sif. Killing Sif is required to progress. That's what I'm right, understanding. Yeah. He drops an item that you're gonna need to fight the boss that we're gonna have you go to after him. And now there's an ether. Is this here last time? No, the Oh, that's right. Now he's spawned and I need to start wailing on him right away. Yeah, you don't get the benefit of getting like away from the wall the right. second time, I guess. Ooh, oh, it looks like that damn. rock. Oh, Ow! Good on. god. That was a bad start. Yeah, for this guy, I'm, I wonder if it would even be worth it to like take that armor off so you can fast roll. Shit! That went a lot worse than the last time. I feel like yeah. locking onto him is almost a disadvantage if you want to get away. Well, I mean, obviously, yeah, but... Ah, oh, jeez. Felt... Yeah, this might be one of those situations where you might not want to lock on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and kindle the bonfire. Just to help me out a little. Let's consume this. And rest and kindle and... Oh, still hollowed, good. Good, good. Um, lawyer, how is it that his sword got huge? If you're talking about Sif's sword, I thought... I don't want to, like, spoil the lore or anything. I'm pretty sure, as far as I know, that that is actually his master sword, who was a... I think a giant, like, the same size as, uh, Smo, actually. Or, uh, Ornstein. Isn't it Smo, the big one? Uh, as far as, like, our group always says Smo, I think. Hmm. But... I guess it could be pronounced any old... Any old way. Oh, no, I just meant, like, I thought the big guy was Smo. Oh, right. Right? Yeah, the big guy is the uh, little dude. Smell, yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, uh, skinny dude is definitely Ornstein. Got it. Okay, why don't you two hands since you're rolling most of the time? Good idea, Puffkin. I hadn't even thought about doing that. The two-handed attack doesn't take any longer to use than the one-handed attack, right? The two-handed attack, I'm sorry, I was reading Chad. Doesn't take longer to use than the uh, one-handed attack? Pretty sure it doesn't. Uh, as far as I know, I mean, I haven't extensively used this weapon or anything, but... Oh, good, I got invaded. Oh, man. Fun kid. Intense fun, fun kid. kid, too. This is not the time to have fun, kid. Puffkin says, no, it does not. Good. Good to know, and I'm being chased down! Oh, God, oh, he man. jumped down in front of me. What in the hell is with that? Yeah, that that's not cheating, even friend. This is completely That was just, I like, guess, smart AI. I got killed by these two dudes! Oh, God. This is such oh, BS, man. man. I don't want to deal with you right now. I'm trying to kill a giant wolf. Get the hell away. The invader's probably like, what happened to him? <laughs> At least he knows now that he was dealing with a complete noob. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you talk to the the NPC, you can join a covenant and those guys won't attack you. Okay, so I want to run over to the right? Uh, the left. Oh, the left. Yeah, pretty much just on the way to, to Sith. Okay. Cooperate with the controller, please. Oh no. Okay. Come on now. I'm gonna go over here, which is not the way I want to go. And we can't jump over a log because we don't have enough athleticism. I need to put points <laughs> into athletics. Oh, that'd be awesome if you could like change your jump height and your like attack speed. That'd be amazing. That's one thing I wish would like be affected by your strength. Yeah. Like the speed at which you would swing your weapon. For sure. Okay, these dudes are not gonna leave me alone. I think if you run in there and talk to her, she might... I think they stop attacking. Is she but, right in the archway? Yeah, she's like right in that door. Okay. To the left. Uh-huh. Ah, talk. So, yeah, hey, they totally did. I'm sure if they stop. Oh, good. Thou fared well to find me. But cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. It's creepy as hell, man. Sir Artorius are none but a fabrication. Creepiest cat I've ever seen. Mm hmm. Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Now, what she's saying right now is actually very relevant to what we're about to do. Hmm. What is my decision? <laughs> this is so oh, ambiguous every time it presents me with these options. Like, uh, would you not like to maybe, perhaps, by chance, for two is with me here now? What is your decision? Yes. I think the answer is yes, but I don't remember. I don't even know what the question was. I didn't hear her ask a question, and I was paying attention. I'm Alvina of the Dark Retold. Oh good, she looks happy. Good. Can you tell? Uh, it looks like she might be smiling a little bit more now. Who's the touch? Now that she's warmed up to you. Good. Oh, my decision, again... Good God. Yeah, what she's asking this time is if you want to join the, like, the forest covenant, I think. Oh, yeah, and then they'll stop attacking me. Yeah, as far as I know. I don't remember what covenant you were in before. Let us establish a covenant. Join covenant, yes! Good, good. Fantastic. Nice. Oh, and the ring! Yeah, that's not the ring, though. Oh. Cat that ring, that ring. I think if you have that ring on, I've never really used it too much, but I think if you have it on, and somebody comes in the forest, I, something weird where, like, she will summon you to attack them. Like, Whoa. you're a, a forest protector now. You're basically what those guys are that you got to stop attacking you by talking to her now. Oh, cool. I'm not sure exactly how it works as far as, like, I'm sure you have to be human, and I'm sure there's, like, a level boundary or whatever, but... Right. Nice. Yeah, I didn't spend too much time as a uh, cat covenant forest member. Yeah, I imagine. The clan is blah 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 blah. Good. Okay, don't betray your clansmen. Let's go. Yay! We're not getting attacked anymore. Yeah, that means if you attack any of those guys out there now, I'm pretty sure you abandon the covenant automatically, 
or something like that, or you're just like not in good standing. I'm not sure if there's a difference. Mm -hmm. I will definitely but, not do that. Yeah, you might actually want to. There's a guy out there that if you kill, he will drop a. Actually, I don't think you can buy it from him. I think you have to kill him. Whoa. Um, he drops a pretty cool ring. Is that gonna help us in Sith? Uh, probably not. Well, actually, it gives you, I think, two more invincibility frames uh, if you fast roll. Huh. I don't think it's that worth it, though. Well, let's go ahead and try Sif one more time. I think I'm going to employ the non-lock-on strategy and see how I fare with that. Yeah, probably a good strategy. Bring it on, wolf boy. Or just straight up wolf. Whoop. Okay, good. All right, he's backed up against the wall a little bit, and now he's not at all. Oh, well, that was oh god! Cool wow, I barely missed that attack, dude. Oh, barely. Oh god! Starting wow! Off on the great foot. He just like punched you down with his yeah, paw. Yeah, ridiculous. Never seen that happen before. Oh god! The double swing again. I gotta get to the two-handed because I figure that's probably gonna help me out. Yeah, you might as well, I guess, while you're under him, two-hand. Yeah. Man, he he's timing my actions according to his. Okay, that one hurt a little bit more. Oh god. Alright. Hurry, hurry, drink up. Good. Okay. So far, kind of so good. Stop bouncing around, you dick! Oh, man. Wow! That full thing nearly killed me. One Holy HP. Holy crap. I'm assuming. Yeah. Pretty much right there. I'm the king of one HP. You know it. You've got to right. win now. Now that you've been at 1 HP, you can't lose. <laughs> it's a guaranteed thing, almost. I'm trying to learn more so, like, how I can expect him to move around the map, but I don't know if I'm even benefiting from that idea. Oh, God, right up into my face. Lord almighty. Oh, man. Come yeah, on, buddy! Be kind. Be kind. Okay, good. Oh, good. There we are. There we are. Couple more hits, couple more hits, come on. Alright, down to like a third, I think. Yeah, you're really, really close. Oh, come on, baby. And as far as I know, like, he doesn't change strategy or anything. Okay, wow, wow. Oh, no. Boy. That sounds bad. Why does it get stronger? It doesn't need to be stronger. Ouch. It feels like that thing didn't do that much damage last time. I think you might not have been at full HP. Oh, jeez. Not sure. Well, at least these guys aren't going to hit me anymore. Yeah, there's that. You can just run straight there. Mm-hmm. Jeez, well, this sword is basically the size of a pillar. You're damn right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't want to die anymore. Try yeah, blocking. Yeah, the funny thing is... Try, is that like a message on the ground or what? Oh, in the chat. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could block. I'm not sure... It's probably just easier to get good at, like, dodging, dodge rolling through his attacks. I was doing that before. Like, the first time I fought him, I was just dodge rolling through everything and just kind of out of, you know, instinct. Now these dudes yeah. are just hanging out. Like oh, that. that guy right there, by the way, is the he's, one that you have to... He's the One dude. of these guys. I know it's the guy over there with the big sword, I'm pretty sure. If you kill him, he will give you the ring. I don't... I wouldn't kill him yet, I guess. But yeah, I think he sells some stuff, too. Don't worry. Huh. He's telling me good hunting with you. Oh yeah, there's a guy behind him actually. He's barely visible back there. Barely. Oh my God. I Dear did it. Lord. I did it. You did it. You're a bad person, Kyle. All right, one more go at Sif, and then maybe we'll approach this a little differently. Yeah, he's definitely not that bad. If you want to. I'm not sure if it would even help to take off your armor to get to a fast roll if you want to try and um, dodge roll through stuff. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's see what we need to do to make that happen. Wonder if I can just take off some things. Yeah. Because it's looking like it's not there we go. even helping that much. Yeah, probably not. Wow, that was stupid. Oh, don't tell me you rolled. <laughs> I don't <laughs> even know what happened. I don't understand oh, that. I'm very confused and slightly aroused. Chat, what do you give that dive on a scale of one to ten? <laughs> it's kind of just like a pencil into the pond. Oh, jeez. Can you parry the wolf? I have no idea. I doubt it. I don't think so. I I've never tried. Uh, as far as I know, you can't. I'm sure Crazy Mike would, would know and would have done it plenty of times. 
Even if it's not possible, I'm sure he's done it. It's too bad he's dead. Yeah, he's been dead a lot lately. Yeah, it's I'm not, weird. Not sure what's up with that, but... Seems like something you only really want to do once. Yeah, I'm not sure how he keeps coming back either, but he does. I guess it's just a uh, crazy Mike. Mm-hmm. He's playing some real-world Dark Souls. Yeah, he invaded me the other day. Uh, wasn't good. I can't tell if you're talking about Dark Souls anymore. Yeah. On second thought, maybe I should have uh, <laughs> should have prefaced that with something else. Crazy Mike invaded me once. It's a cold, dark night. Oh, hey, Mike. Lost power is up here for some reason, even though it has nothing, so there's no point. Yeah, I'll be back in just one second. Alright. Away we go to kill Sif, everybody. Kyle's gonna miss it. I'm gonna do it in 30 seconds. Here we go. Give it a try, Bear! No thanks. I'd rather try to kill him. I don't think burying is even going to be remote possibility for me here. Uh, okay, that missed completely. That was a poor start. Oh, God. Wow. Stop. Stop it! You giant oh, God, asshole! Back. And Wolf. as soon as I get back... You suck! Oh. You just didn't let up. Yeah, it looks like you didn't damage him at all. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I hate to rub it in, but... Oh, God. That was not fair. Uh, this walk is getting annoying. Maybe yeah. I should summon for help, but then I feel like a worthless scumbag. Kind of already ruined the Ornstein and Smog fight. Yeah, that was a. Uh, I guess you're kind of getting not payback, but it's sort of like what you would have gotten on that fight. Yeah, maybe retribution would be a good word. Bear was right. It was 30 seconds. You know what, guys? <laughs> I'm gonna kill him right here and now. Yeah, one more try. I was just holding back. Y'all thought I was terrible at this. You're probably right. But, I can pretend. I can pretend to have some degree of talent. Streaming video games. Yeah, you don't even have to try, you just have to, to do, and it'll work. Right. Uh-oh, mushroom guy might have... Okay, we're good. The mushroom guys are scaring me now that you're telling me they got some... wacky business going on with their basic attack. Might not kill you? I would say they probably won't kill you with one hit, but... They do have a very strong physical attack. One hit, dear god. Yeah, I don't think they would kill you in one hit, but... Okay, here we go. Let's do it. I'm not gonna do the same thing I did last time. That was a silly, silly freaking decision. Okay, did the exact same thing I did last time, ladies and gentlemen. I am a liar and a scoundrel. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, good. Good start, good start. Now go the hell away, thank you. Out of stamina again. Oh my god, this guy. It's just a giant a-hole. Come on, buddy. Damn it! Oh! He just runs right at me! Uh -oh. Relentless! Nice. Yeah, I wonder, now, oh, now I'm thinking maybe the armor would have been a good idea, because yeah, it took over half your HP. Wow. He just knocks me straight over. There's like nothing I can do about it. Okay. Ugh, jeez. Oh god, I hit him. That's a, it's freaking amazing. It's a miracle. It's a marvel one. of modern okay. science. Okay, dealing damage. Out of stamina. Stay close by. Stay close by. Uh huh. Good. Good. Ow. Run away. Damn it! God oh. damn it! I oh hate god. this thing! Oh no. Oh man. Son that of a hurts. bitch! I don't like him. He just got a big ass sword and he just swings it around. There's nothing I can do about it. Ugh. I wonder if it would even be worth at this point to just go full tank mode and put on like full havels and swimming man. You're not allowed to be alive anymore. Get out of here with that crappy spam. You're making me mad. Go away. Uh, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill swimming man. Yeah, just invade him. And, <laughs> and Dark Souls, I should say. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tank up a little bit more. Let's get that Havel's armor back on and throw on some Elite Knight stuff. Where the hell that went? Here we go. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. Back to where I'm comfortable. Yeah, the first time you fought him, did you have the... I think you might have had the stone armor on to start with. I did, maybe the, yeah. uh, Maybe the Havel's armor will work a little bit better. Because I got the medium roll. I'm, I'm okay with the medium roll. I feel like the medium roll is not entirely detrimental. Yeah, it's not that bad. As far as, like, dodge rolling and stuff, the fat roll I would not try uh, to dodge roll with, but... Yeah. Okay. Medium roll, not too bad. I feel like I've got the basics of it down, it's just a matter of not allowing a sequence of horrible events to occur. Yeah, Jeez. I mean, a couple of times gotten pretty close. It's just, I guess it comes down to, like, rolling at the right time for this fight. Yeah. Okay, here we go, buddy. I'm not gonna run right at you again, and of course, still, still got me! Still got me! Yep. Yep, just natural for you now. Oh, man. Heal up. Okay. Okay. I don't want you to do what you're doing. Is menacing walk towards me like some kind of giant a hole that just kills uh, you. He just kills you, Kyle. Oh, he doesn't he even just care. Straight yeah. up kills you. He just kills you. He doesn't. There's nothing you can do. No regard for life. Mm. No regard for anything, man. He just, just he his middle name is Dick. Dick Wolf. Sif Dick Wolf. <laughs> That's his new name from That's now on. That's his new name. Uh, he gets you when you run away. That's probably true. I should try to stay closer. Yeah, it's working, I mean, but there's also very vulnerable pieces to that. Yeah, it's just I guess it's, it just sounds like cliche advice. I guess uh, you know, just stay stay try close. Playing is probably the best way. Yeah, I was not gonna go down that <laughs> route. But as far as like dodge rolling, it, the way like the time period that you have to dodge roll, it's a lot later than you might think. It's like right before, I wouldn't say right before it hits you, but uh, a little bit later than what I've seen. Alright. I'm gonna get close. I mean, like, the, the very first instance in which he attacks you is the hardest part, really, because there's nothing you can do much about him charging up and smashing you in the face. Yeah, you might want to just try, like, as soon as you, like, start to roll straight, or not, maybe not roll straight in, but, like, run straight in. Yeah. As far as you can and roll. Just gonna roll down here, take a little damage, heal up. There we go. Yeah, or you could try and block the first attack. That might also work. Okay, I'll block the first attack. I'll try that. Outlaw Broom says he is blockable, so I guess I'll give it a whirl. Which would probably be, be better for me to lock on in that case, so let's go ahead and try. He's blockable? That takes a hell of a lot of stamina, but that does work a hell of a lot better than what I've been doing, I guess. Yeah, wow. maybe this was uh, the Ooh. final key that we needed. Maybe. That still did hit me a lot! Okay. Heal up. And... Good, good. Woo! Still gets through with that giant circle spin, though. Yeah, I was thinking that. The double one. Mm -hmm. uh, will probably take out your... endurance mm -hmm. on the first one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Still hitting me. Oh, my God. This is silly. Heal up. Heal up. Okay, got a couple hits. He's in a weird spot right now. Hey, he doesn't even care now. Oh, wait, I'm running. Oh, oh goddamn, I did the exact same thing. I don't know why I thought that was going to work. Wow. He just keeps bouncing away. My... Okay, I'm... I'm bad. Oh, God. I'm bad at Dark Souls. I've come, yeah, to, I I've guess. come to terms with it. This is maybe one situation where the the Black Knight Sword. Of course, it's going to make the fight easier because it'll be a shorter fight. But uh, just getting to attack him in the first place is kind of hard, I guess. Yeah, I got to get out of here though. This is going to drive me crazy. All right, thanks for watching Dark Souls here today, everybody in the Bear Tavi Live Show. Kyle Fullgrown Gaming here joining me. Of course, I'm going to switch out again, take a quick break, play some chip tunes and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Go subscribe to Kyle. He's an awesome dude, and follow him on Twitch and Twitter and all that good stuff. Be back with some Spelunky. We're going to do the daily challenge. Probably some no treasure runs after that in a moment here. Don't go anywhere. See you soon.